Ah, spring. Birds are chirping, the grass is growing, and that means it's time to get that lawnmower started. But if you're having a hard time with your lawnmower, if it's hard to start or won't start at all, or if your lawnmower smokes so badly it's embarrassing to use in front of your neighbors, it might be time to bring it into a shop. But wait, before you do, let's go see what Rick has to say inside. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm The Honest Mechanic, and in today's video, I'm going to show you five easy things that you can do on your lawnmower that can prevent you bringing it into a shop and saving you piles of money. Stay tuned. All right, the first thing that we're going to talk about, guys, is the very obvious, but we sometimes forget it, happens to the best of us, and that's the gas. First of all, make sure that there's actually gasoline in the tank. And I mean, I've done it myself. I've tried to start my lawnmower with a bone dry tank. It doesn't work. Uh, but since we're on the topic of gas or fuel, make sure that it actually is very good quality fuel. I always use top tier gases, so 91 octane. I, I try to avoid anything that has any ethanol and I've had very good luck with that. Okay, so the very next thing that you can do that's super easy is check your spark plug and check for spark. So on this particular one, we've got a Craftsman 21 inch mower here and we actually have a Briggs and Stratton on the top here. It's powered by Briggs, which is nice. This is your spark plug, of course. This one here happens to be a Champion RJ19LM. I always recommend using the original plug that the manufacturer suggests. I know some guys are boasting about, you know, more horsepower, better fuel, and easier starts with these other fancy spark plugs that are worth twice or three times as much. I haven't seen any of those. So I would just rather use the actual same spark plug that comes with the engine. While you're here, make sure you have also a good connection on the spark plug cap. I put some dielectric grease in there to make things easier. And uh, I can't show you how to check the spark on this one because this engine is not bolted to the housing, of course. But with a person to help you, you would have the spark plug removed, grounded to something that's metal, and then looking for spark. Look for a bright blue spark if it's orange or yellow, change the spark plug and see how that helps you. Okay, so the third thing you can do is you can change your oil. Uh, as you saw in the first earlier part of this video, that one lawnmower was smoking really badly. Could be that the oil is just too thin or just worn out. And you can easily do that with one of these things that I picked up from Princess Auto for about 10 bucks. And it actually sucks the oil out of the engine without making a mess. I really enjoy this thing. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. Much easier when the oil is warm, so if you can run the engine for a little bit, that would make it much easier to suck up. But you're going to take this little pump, simply start pumping, and you're going to see the oil make its way right into the container. Once you've got a good vacuum on here, you just empty out the uh, engine oil, and then you're going to replace it with a good quality oil. I always recommend, of course, what the manufacturer recommends, which is normally a 10W30. Okay, so the next thing you can do is change your air filter. Now that could be another reason why your uh, lawnmower would smoke very, a lot. So for this particular one, they're all going to be a little bit different, but I just need to remove the screw on the top here. And remove the panel, which will access the air filter. If your air filter looks anything like this, uh, you need to replace it. It should be nice and clean. You should be able to see no dirt inside any of these pleats. Having a restricted air filter will actually cause your engine to suck up more fuel than necessary and make the engine smoke. Okay, so for a final thing that we can check fairly easily, you're gonna look at the brake cable. So I know it's not even here, a brake cable on a lawnmower, but these are the cables going up to the top, which is what stops your blade and stops your engine from working. If this cable doesn't move freely, 
or spring back, or if it's damaged in any way, that's a pretty easy repair. You can just replace the cable. Uh, and then if you look at this one at this end, for example, it's all bent and twisted. That would not allow you to get all the proper tension to release the brake and allow you to get spark because this also cuts the spark. So those are the five easy things you can do to get your lawnmower up and running again without having to bring it into a shop. And I want to thank my girls for helping me film this video because without them I couldn't do it. I don't have a stand yet. So thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you next time.